Hi guys, I'm back with a new video today and you guys really like my video that I made last year on 21 questions with Dweedy and uh, you guys wanted me to answer more questions so here I am today uh, answering your lovely questions so without further ado I think I'll get right into the questions also guys apologies if you guys hear these background noises because there's some function going on so I can't really help that sorry all right the first question is by CEO of happiness how do you manage everything I mean what keeps you going hi uh, hi CEO of happiness I manage everything just like any other people do I think I really I, I really believe in prioritizing my work so now that my exams are over I have made it a point to focus on my YouTube channel and do as much as I can for it and focus even on my dancing skills so yeah I think prioritizing your work really helps you manage it and um, what keeps you going when it comes to what keeps me going of course uh, my family motivates me my friends motivate me and you guys really support me a lot your comments really motivates me i think it's my love for youtubing it's my love for dancing that actually keeps me going for you to always uh to keep going you have to love what you're doing and you'll have to sacrifice you'll have to prioritize you'll have to step out of your comfort zone and i think yeah that'll help you you know manage everything and even it'll keep you going the next question is by Saurav Sinhaha. He has a couple of questions. The first question is reason behind your profession as a dancer. As of now, I haven't taken dancing as a profession. I don't know what my profession will be. I haven't thought about it. But yeah, dancing is something that I will never leave. It is a part of my life, a very crucial part and I'll forever keep it with me. I mean, I will always keep dancing as long as my body can dance. And yeah, so uh, it's a passion, it's a hobby. I don't know if it's going to be a profession. We'll see. The next question by him is, what do you like to do most of the time when you feel lonely? Um, when I feel lonely, I probably just keep on, you know, rummaging my social media and, you know, yeah, just going through my phone maybe. Or yeah, I love sleeping. I love sleeping uh, when I'm lonely. I can just doze off anywhere and everywhere, fall asleep. Yeah, that's it. The next question, what? Oh no, wait, how can I forget eating? Even if I'm not feeling lonely, you'll always find me eating good food. The next question is, what would be the best thing that you would do to encourage people regarding a profession? Again, I don't know what my profession is or will be. But then uh, if you're talking about dance, then I think uh, to encourage people uh, to dance, I mean, first of all, they'll have to have the love for dance or whatever profession they are doing. You will always have to love what you do because that is only when you'll feel that it is worth stepping out of your com comfort zone. It is worth uh, sacrificing. And without all of these things, you know, you have to feel uh, worthy of working hard. You know, if you work hard and it does not have, it does not make you feel good, there's no point working hard, right? So yeah, the end product must, of course, always make you happy. And I think uh, that is what should be enough to encourage. Love should be enough to encourage you to do well in your profession, right? Whatever it is, be it dancing, be it singing or whatever that you do. The next question is by my friend Nayana. She's asking, Moodwara dance hobone future or which basically means will I ever be able to dance? Yes, Nayana, you will be able to dance. Just come to my place and I'll help you dance. Or you can just follow my tutorials, although I haven't posted one since a long time. So you can always come over to my place. Yes, Naina, you will be able to dance. All you have to do is follow my tutorials or you can come to my place. I'll personally teach you dance, but then you'll have to provide me free food. I'm not going to teach you for free. You'll have to give me food. I'm sorry. The next question is by Rituparna S. How did you start dancing? Like which dance form did you learn first? Also, do you view of making it your career? Lots of love. Hi, Rituparna. Lots of love to you as well. Um, I started dancing probably when I was in class KG or something. I always loved dancing. It was my sister 
who uh, taught me my first dance. Uh, she taught me a dance on the song uh, Sajna Ve Sajna uh, from Chameli. It was a Karina. It was Karina Kapoor's song, and uh, yeah, I performed it on my. Uh, I performed it in my school, and I probably won a second or third prize. I don't remember. And yeah, that's where it all began. And from then, I always danced on my school events, competitions, performances, and it just continued. So basically, my sisters taught me at first, and now I teach them. <laughs> then the next question from you is, um, which dance form did you learn first? Yeah, I have never been trained uh, in Western dance styles, but I did learn Bharatanatyam and Hotriya. But Bharatanatyam was what I began with. I do not know if I'll be considering this dancing as my career because I haven't thought about my career as of yet. So yeah, let's see where life takes me. The next question is by Arunav. Kya achhe din aayenge? Doubtful, yeah. I don't think achhe din aayenge. Nope, not happening. Next question is by my friend Aryaki. She's asking best memory in APSN, that is Army Public School Narangi or with Loya the Queen. Hi Queen. Anyways, um, there are a lot of, you know, so many, there are so many beautiful memories in Army Public School Narangi. It has given me some of the best memories of my life with Loya. Um, I can say that uh, we once performed together uh, for our seniors' farewell. She sang and I performed uh, to her live singing. I think uh, that was one of our best moments because everybody appreciated it so much we got like standing ovation and it was really heart touching for both of us the next question is by Sorinav Toy Bule Kalapopo Makeup to Say Lord Paisili Shh! Zip it! <laughs> the next question is by Sneha Bora where will you study after 12 means now what's your plan after 12 uh, I don't know where will I study probably Delhi or Mumbai those are the two places I'm considering let's see wherever I can see probably the next question is by Astha Bora. How old are you? I'm 18 years old. When I made the 21 questions with uh, Dweety, I was 17 years old. Now I'm old. The next question is by Bidyut Malakar. Your biggest fear and your future plans. My biggest fear would be uh, falling prey to mental illness or any of my loved ones falling prey to mental illness. I think uh, it really scares the shit out of me. More than any physical sickness. So yeah, uh, no. And my future plans, I never really planned for my future. I never had and I don't think I ever will. I believe in making the most of my present. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. The next question is by Ishana Roshid. What is your biggest influence in life? The biggest influence in my life would be my father. His actions have never failed to inspire and motivate me. And I think that uh, today, whatever I'm doing, Behind, in the back of my mind, I know he is there. I know he is watching us from up there. He influences me to do best in my life. The next question is by Gargi Das. Hey Arpita, I want to know uh, that do you miss your dad? I know it's a stupid question because I'm sure you miss your dad. The purpose of my question is to know how did you teach yourself to stay calm and positive during all these things? I really appreciate your strength and vitality. Can you give some tips to stay positive and calm in the worst situation of your life? Thank you, Gargi. Um, I think this is something that nobody can teach you. This is something that time will teach you after all. When you come across a situation like this, you learn yourself to carry yourself with strength and vitality. I think uh, mostly it's my father. Even though uh, he's no more, I feel his presence all the time. And I feel uh, that all his values, all that he has taught me, his upbringing, has always been in a manner that has taught me to be strong, that has taught me to be positive. And also, you know, there are days when I sulk, crib and complain. Those time, uh, on those days, I have my loved ones, friends and family, who always support and motivate me to stay, you know, positive and happy. The first or perhaps the only tip that I'd like to give you is surround yourself with good people who genuinely love you, who genuinely care about you, and uh, do not involve yourself in unnecessary drama, it will just ruin your headspace. The next question is by Preeti Sahai. You know to talk in Hindi, Arpita Datta. Namaste Preeti Sahai. Aapko kya poochna hai Hindi mein? Aap mujhe pooch lije. Main aapko jawab dene ke liye tayar hoon. Then the next question is by Haseen Sarkar. Are you Bengali? No, I am a Khomia. 
The next question is by Ria Chakraborty. Hey Arpita, how do you take care of your skin? It's flawless. Lol Ria, my skin is not flawless. I break out like almost all the time. But I do take care of my skin. The usual cleansing, toning, moisturizing and occasional face masks and uh, face sheets. Next question is by Aryan Sharma. I want to ask that what's your favorite subject and what stream have you uh, taken in 11th? I had taken humanities and my favorite subject is undoubtedly political science. Oh my god guys. It's the best subject. I mean, if you have taken political science and you're in 12th, you'll know what I'm talking about. Like, the India book is just way too great. The next question is by Fun World with Suchi. Who is your favorite Bollywood actor? My favorite Bollywood actor is Ranveer Singh. He's not just my favorite Bollywood actor. I literally love, 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 love him. And I'm so in love with him that I just can't. The next question is by Sunitra Pola. What are you studying now? I'm in 12th standard. Uh, I've just given my boards. The Winter Blossom asks, for every girl out there, her father is the most precious person ever. So how do you feel of his absence? His absence is something that uh, will always haunt me forever. And it's a scar that will never go. But I believe that he is present somewhere. And that presence has always given me strength, not just me, all of us, all my sisters, the strength to move ahead in life and do things for him and for all of us. The next question is by Borsha Das. Is Army Public School good in its uh, science stream in class 11? Duh, Army Public School is the best. The next question is by Santu Seelish. Uh, choose meeting your favorite celebrity once in your life or winning free makeup brand of your choice yearly for the rest of your life. Um, I, I mean, uh, I would love to meet Ranveer Singh, but I wouldn't want to meet him just for one day or something because I want to have him like forever, not just for one day. So yeah, probably a yearly supply of my favorite makeup brand. The next question is by Twinkling, from whom do you get all the motivation? As I told you, my father has always motivated me and will continue to do so forever. Other than that, I think all my loved ones uh, keep me going. It does, it, it does not only comprise of my family and friends, but also genuinely you guys. When I read your comments in my videos, it really motivates me and inspires me to make more videos, work harder, step out of my comfort zone. So yeah, I guess... That's what keeps me going and that's what motivates me the most. The next question is by Rahul Kirola. Do you have a BF? I don't. It's just so standing that I got this question like last time also in 21 questions video and this time also and the answer is still the same. Probably Kokla like forever. The next question is uh, how far is it when we will see you as Mr. Anjanatta again from a app site as well as someone working in the same field as yours through Rotary. Okay, so I don't think uh, you will see me as Anjanatta ever. I think there will be only one Anjanatta. Nobody can take his place or nobody can become a second Anjanatta. We all can try but I think he was one of a kind and nobody can be like him. The next question is by Ramiz D. This is very cliche, but yeah, ye melody is so chocolatey. Kyu hai? Cliche questions, you know it. Why are you even asking? Come on! The next question is, which course have you decided to opt for? And which college after your class 12? Love you and your videos. Talented girl. Love, love, love. Hi, Methi. Lots of love to you as well. Um, after class 12, I think I'll probably do uh, I'll probably do political science or sociology because I love both of these subjects and probably Mumbai or Delhi as I've already said. Don't know, jahan pe bhi seat mil jai, wahi pe hum bed jayenge. All right, now coming to the last question by Sunita G. What would you name your future kids? I'm not like even dating someone to think what would I name my future kids. Ew. All these questions make me very depressed. Don't ask me such questions. Alright, with this we have come an end to this lovely question and answer video. It was really fun talking to you guys and hanging out with you guys after so long. Thank you for all these lovely questions. I really enjoyed them. If you like this video, make sure to give a big thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe. Bye-bye.